Hey everyone, Mike here and in this video I'm going to show you how to add your own music or your own uh, audio file as a notification sound or as a ringtone on the Samsung Galaxy S5. We'll start with the ringtones, that's fairly easy. You need to go to the settings, go to sound and in here you have ringtones. Click on ringtones and you have those already pre-installed but there's also this button here at the bottom, it says add and it will automatically take you to your um, to your music application, you have all your tracks in there and uh, let's go ahead and uh, select something, for instance this over the, no, this one, made, um, tap on it. If you have this auto recommendation ticked at the bottom, only a small part of this uh, track will be used for your uh, ringtone, which is okay because you don't want to have an entire song used, used as a ring, ringtone, just a particular um, aspect of it. In this case, uh, the first few seconds, as you can see from here. If you want to use the entire song, you will have to just uh, untick this uh, option here. Okay, uh, if you're okay with this, uh, just press done. And now the ringtone appears here in your list and you can use it as a ringtone. And again, you have to make sure to tell the phone if you want to use uh, this uh, from a section from the beginning of the track or use the auto recommendation which will cut a part of the of the song from whatever the software consider it's better suited as a ringtone okay so adding ringtones it's fairly easy adding notification notifications is not that easy because from this notification list you no longer have an add button in here however you can do this uh, differently you need to go to the apps and go to my files from here go to device storage and locate the notifications folder which is this one by default it's it's empty but if you want to add uh, your own notification sounds you can copy files audio files in here and they will appear in the list of, of notifications that means that you will have to download your uh, your files on the phone i've already uh, i already have a bunch of phones of uh, a bunch of um, uh, tracks in here and I'm going to select some of them and move them in the notification settings uh, folder sorry in the notifications folder and uh, I'm going to select this one and I'm going to select this one as well copy go to notifications paste here and they've been moved in here now let's go back to the settings sound notifications and let's search for them. Okay, this is one of them. And when you're going to receive a notification, this one will uh, will start uh, will start singing. And uh, let's go ahead and try it out. We'll send a message to the phone right now. All right, so that's basically the idea. Another thing you should know is uh, that you might have. Uh, different uh, notification sound added uh, for the messages and uh, if that's the case you need to go to the settings in your messaging app and you should have notifications in here and you need to change the notification sound and uh, make sure you select that new one that you want to to, uh, to add and now if I'm going to send a message mm -hmm. Okay, so the new notification sound was activated. It's not really... It's not really the best notification sound because it's actually a song and it's really long. But if you find your own notification sound somewhere else, you can add them like this in, in that folder and then use them on the Samsung Galaxy S5. Okay, that's basically it for now. Uh, just a quick uh, tips uh, video. For more details, you should uh, uh, go on, uh, on, it, on the channel. I've covered more other things about this uh, Samsung Galaxy S5. And of course, if you have questions, make sure to leave them below. Uh, and I'll be around to, to reply. Uh, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys soon. Bye.